And do I want kids? So today I want to do a Q&A video of it's just one person <laughs> but I really liked her questions and it's Nicola and she writes Dear Coco, I have been an adoring fan of yours since 2013 and feel excited every time I see a video from you in my YouTube feed. I'm curious if you would be willing to make a marriage relationship video on how you and your husband keep the spark in your relationship and how you navigate disagreements when they arise. Perhaps more importantly, how do you manage your own feelings and take care of yourself when disappointments occur? I seem to remember having in one of your videos or interviews years ago that you and he share an open relationship. Is that still the case? I'm also curious if you plan to have children or if you've consciously chosen not to. This is where I am currently in this question. I realize they are very personal questions and I apologize if it seems too intrusive. I admire you so much and have always appreciated your perspective and loving nature. If I could take you out for a tea or some girl conversation, I would. Wishing you a beautiful end of summer. Much love from San Francisco, CA. So, I hope this is anonymous enough in case you don't want to be known in this video. I'm very, very happy about your message and because it's so sweet, I will start to answer it. So I will not answer everything, but I will answer, I think, quite a lot and everything I don't answer, I will make a follow-up video if this video gets likes and people like it. If it's just a boring video, of course, I will not do a second sequel <laughs> of this. So I first, maybe I start with the easiest thing like do I want kids? No, I don't want kids and I think that not everybody needs kids. We have already very very many people on this planet and every person that is just being born just contributes to the problems that we have here on earth. So if you want to have kids, if you really feel in your body that you want to have kids, if you have a stable relationship or if you are a very stable personality and you know this challenge, rising a human, is really something that you want, then of course create kids because I think it's an amazing experience if you have this calling. And I know so many people like from my friends who have kids and they have grown so much, they have changed, they have evolved. And when I see what kind of a loving relationship they are having with their kids, for example, when I see them breastfeeding and how, how much love is there transmitted between mother and kid or like how the dads nowadays are taking care of the kids, it's just, it's just so beautiful. So it's just so beautiful. So if you know that you are doing this kid to just have a great, great time of growth and love with a very amazing human being that just comes into your life through your own body. Just do it, but only do it when you really know that you want it. And if you're just like not really sure, then just don't do it. Don't do it, it's easy. I know. But I think the pressure is coming from the outside most of the time. It's whether it's the parents, the friends, or like society at large. Now I can only quote with one hand. <laughs> um, this, is, this is just the things that keep us in the loop if we want to have kids or not. So for me it was never a question, but sometimes when people ask me, oh, you don't want kids? Why do you want kids? Then I was like, mm, Am I a bad person for not wanting kids? No, I'm not a bad person for not wanting kids. There are enough kids in the world already and I love children and I always get along very well with kids and I love observing how they think, how they learn because it just brings me to my own journey as a human. Like, how, how do we do everything that we do? And I 
also find kids quite inspiring because especially when they still can't really lie and they're just so honest you see in their face everything they can't conceal that for example now they don't agree with you or they find your idea shitty or something it's really it's amazing but only only do this of course you can also do it out of other reasons but i would just suggest only do it when you know that you can give enough that you can take on the responsibility because this person comes into your life forever problems and challenges will arise forever and also love and everything like all the great stuff also comes forever so just know what you're up to because i also have like some friends that are already like having kids some kids are already out of the house they asked me also like how did you just not make kids because i wish i would also not have done the kids it has been only a problem for me and some relationships just really can't manage this challenge that comes with kids and so kids are not only a blessing but kids can be an incredible blessing that i even don't know because i will not have a kid and I just don't feel it I just don't feel it I just don't need it I love my life how it is and somehow I am a kind of grandmother already because I have trained so many dancers and now I have trained so many teachers and they go on and train their dancers so I already feel like like I have a great family and like a heritage that is passed on so I don't need to like have this kid experience yeah this is long answer to a short question another um, thing that i will also address today is open relationship 